I've actually never really said that out loud because I've made this little life for myself where I can work from home and I can kind of like wear and dress and be whoever I want and that's exactly what I wanted as a kid, like as a teenager. If I'm being completely honest with you guys, I don't have a single thing in common with like any of them. Okay, I am now ready. Shalom, hello. First of all, it's freezing. It is now 68 degrees here in California and I am cold. I'm also wearing this hat because A, look at it. It's fucking cute as hell. And two, it kind of, the shadow covers my eye bags. Anyways, my Instagram is at deep fried gumball if you want to follow me. I'm doing this video because if you have happened to stumble across my channel, if the YouTube gods and the algorithm happen to be in my favor and you stumbled upon my channel, this video is just to give you a little bit more information about myself because personally, I like to follow people that I relate to and maybe somebody will relate to something about me in this video. Video. Basically, I asked my small following some questions. I just said like ask me anything. It's for a video like please send me questions Don't leave me hanging here and usually when I do that like no one sends me anything It's usually like my best friends that are just like haha <laughs> you're a hoe But this time I actually got questions because I did it kind of what's the word I'm looking for I did it a little bit intelligently this time and after Bella Thorne posted my picture I then asked because I had gotten like a hundred followers from that So it was like a bunch of new people and I was like like, hey, ask me things. And people actually did. I was shocked. I'm gonna put them on the screen. It's not that many, but it's not none, you know? Listen, I know it's cringy to be like, ask me questions for a video. When you have like no following and no subscribers, but listen, it's not about how many. So I'm just gonna answer some of these questions. First of all, let me just give you some information about myself. My name is Melanie. My Instagram is at deep fried gumball. I paint a lot. Um, my art Instagram is gumball art studio. I feel like I can't lean on the table because I keep shaking the camera. I recently moved to LA with my boyfriend he was actually here for like a year before I got here so we did long distance for like a year we've known each other for a very long time we went to the same high school but now I live out here with him in LA in our apartment it's freaking great and I have a dog I have a cat I'm a freelance video editor that is what I do for my job that is how I can work from home and I work for two different youtubers and I work for a hair dye company if you go onto my Instagram and you go into my editing highlight story highlights you can see some of my editing work some of it I cannot post because I have signed NDAs etc so like I can't post about some people that I edit for but it is what it is and that is my job and that's pretty much a little summary about me and maybe you'll get to know me a little more with these questions okay if I had to dye my hair one color for the rest of my life what would it be probably black because I feel like I don't know my natural hair color is like really dark almost black so I would probably just dye my hair black because I'm just too indecisive and if I had to pick like a color color which I really am thinking about dyeing my hair like a color color recently I just couldn't commit to something for the rest of my life so black am I ever going to do makeup again um no do you hear that? I don't know what it is, but it happens every day, like three times a day. So no, I'm never gonna do makeup again. Can we please get a skincare routine up in this bitch? Okay, look at my skin. I'm not wearing any makeup at all right now, except for chapstick and I curled my eyelashes, but my skin has been so good. I have finally perfected my skincare routine, like to a T, like it is perfect. It is so good. I wake up in the morning and I like can't even believe that this is my skin sometimes. So yeah, I can do a skincare routine for sure. If you are watching this right Right now and you want me to do a skincare routine let me know um, I'm gonna do it anyway though so yes I'm gonna do a skincare routine I always love your edgy style where do you find inspiration from this is a hard question everything I guess I don't know I feel like my whole life I have always been very like self-aware and I've had a very strong sense of self I mean with everything like I've always just like really known who I am as a person and like what I want to look like and what I want to like come across to the world as when it comes to like everything, like clothes, personality, everything, style. So I kind of just take inspiration from like anything. If I see a cool color that someone's wearing or like a cool color scheme, I'm like, damn, like I really like those colors together. A lot of times, like just anything, like things like in the freaking world, I'm not even kidding you. Like I'll see something in the world and be like, I want to paint that. And then I'll just like paint something like that. For example, there was this really pretty sunset that we saw the other day and I was obsessed with the colors because it was like grayish, but it was a sunset. It was like so cool. It was like a moody looking sunset, like a, it was just really pretty and I was like fuck I love that and I have not stopped thinking about it and like those colors are like circulating in my brain and I'm like I gotta paint something with that I have to like find clothes that are those colors and put them together like I don't know I find inspiration from literally anything and everything 
And that's just that. I find inspiration from everything. My edgy style, like I don't know. I didn't think my style was like edgy per se, but I guess it is. I don't know, just everything. Like literally go outside. If you see something that like catches your eye, just like think about it and like think of other things that like remind you of that and just like incorporate that into your fucking style. I don't know. Hobbies is a question. It just says hobbies, question mark. So painting, I like to paint. I like to draw, even though now I'm doing a lot more painting than drawing. I used to draw a lot more. Video editing, obviously it started out as a major hobby for me. I started this channel because my boyfriend was moving and my best friend actually moved out of state in the same month that my boyfriend moved and I was just like devastated. And I was like, I'm gonna have so much time before I move to California because everybody fucking left me. So I was like, I'm gonna start a YouTube channel because why not? And I really got into editing and I would stay up for hours like I would pull all-nighters like teaching myself different things like if there was something I wanted to learn I would just like teach myself and there's still so much more that I need to learn and want to learn but it a major hobby of mine that has now turned into a job and that is something that I do want to do like a whole video on is because like I've always been able to turn my hobbies into a job even if it's not like a six-figure income I've always been able to like make money from my hobbies and that's something that like some people might be again some people might be like no keep your hobbies separate but for me I'm like I cannot sit at a desk in my life I just can't I was so lucky that at my last job it was very relaxed very fun it was like a makeup company that was social media like it wasn't like a regular desk job I guess you could say um, it's just not for me and I know a lot of people say that but it isn't and I like to do my best at everything that I do so I can't sit at a desk job and fail so it's just not for me and I've always kind of been able to turn my hobbies and my interests into jobs so if anyone wants to see a video on like how I do that let me know how are you I'm good would I shave my head for 100k? 100% because it's hair and it grows back. Never be able to talk again or never be able to use the internet again. Probably never be able to talk again. I love the internet. If you use it wisely, it is great. So never be able to talk again. Um, what's scarier, ghosts or aliens? Holy shit, fucking, I mean, both are cool as hell and I would like to have an encounter with both. What are you searching for in a partner? I'm not searching for anything in a partner because I have a boyfriend and I have found what I'm looking for in a partner. So I'm not searching for anything actually. What is your toxic trait? I have no patience, like at all. To the point where like if I have an idea, I wanna get it done in that moment. And if I can't, like I get so frustrated. I'm like, I can't focus on what I, whatever else it is that I'm doing. If I have an idea for like a painting, I have to do it right then and there. And then I like will finish it and like throw it up on Instagram or whatever. And then like the next day I'll be like, oh, I wish I had done this to it. And it's like, if only I had been patient and like waited and perfected it. And just like, I don't know, I have no patience and it's something I really need to work on. What's my biggest dream? My biggest dream is to, I don't wanna say like get recognition because I don't necessarily like care as long as I'm doing things that I love, but I do want to be able to like have a career based on my art and the things that I put on the internet. And I want to like help inspire other people to like not think that you have to be in this box of like work a nine to five job and look a certain way and do this. Like I would, I would like to help inspire people to like whatever it is you want to do, make it happen. And I just feel like I've been doing that for like quite some time now. I'm 25 and I've been having that mindset and doing that since I'm 18 years old. I want to help people realize that like you don't have to conform to like what everybody tells you that you have to do and be like and act like and look like i want to be like a walking example of that um and i'm still working on it obviously like i don't make six figures like i was saying i don't have like such a great like successful editing business i don't edit for that many people like i'm trying to sell my art online but i don't sell that much i have not a lot of subscribers on youtube and not a lot of followers on instagram but I'm working on it and I want to kind of help inspire people. There's a lot of people on the internet that like you compare yourself to and they just make you feel like shit and everyone kind of like looks the same now and dresses the same now and I just, and I want people to watch my videos or follow me and just feel like, hey, I don't wanna have that job or I don't wanna do what everyone's told me I should do and I wanna do my own thing. Like this is what I'm interested in. This is what I wanna do. And you know, if she can do that, then I can do it. So that's kind of my like whole goal i guess i've actually never really said that out loud and i kind of just like came to that realization right now as i was saying it so whoever asked that question if i can thank you people are so fucking nice you're beautiful thank you how'd you get so hot 
thank you for thinking that first of all do you miss florida how's life in la no i don't miss florida at all i once i got here i realized how miserable and bored i was there and la is great i don't have many friends out here and since i do work from home i'm not like going places a lot and pretty much my whole life all the friends that i've made and my closest friends i've made through either school or work so now that i don't have either of those things it's been really hard to make friends what are your goals now that you have your dream job i wouldn't necessarily say i'm working my dream job i would say i'm working towards my dream job but i'm definitely taking the right steps but my goals are to just continue what i'm doing and i guess just do things that i'm proud of you know i was saying i was a perfectionist and that is true like a lot of times i'll get really stressed out because like a video is not like exactly how i want it to be but there's a due date and it's good and it's great it's just like there's like little things that the person who i'm editing for probably doesn't even notice but like for me i'm like oh my god and i'll send it to them and they love it they're like oh my god this is amazing thank you so much but like for me i'm like oh my god like it's not perfect and also too with like my art and stuff like so like my goals are to like get everything that i'm doing to a point where i'm like super happy with everything and but i had this like creative epiphany last night and i'm so excited i have like these ideas that i want to do and this is a learning lesson for me because if this was me six months ago i would have had this epiphany last night and today painted everything done everything taken all the pictures like did everything i wanted to do and put it up and then not been happy with it so i'm being patient i've gotten really good at having this mindset of like who the f cares about what other people say what other people think what other people do if somebody makes fun of you for liking something if somebody makes fun of you for doing something if somebody makes fun of you for saying something that says more about them than it does about you and people who like things and people who embrace what they like and people who like have interests and hobbies and opinions are usually the people that are like cooler and the people that you want to hang out with and the people you want to be around and they're more confident and happy and like self-aware and they like know who they are and the people that are making fun of them are miserable. Um, do I have any next tattoo plans? I don't because I don't have a tattoo artist out here. I would like to finish my back. I have my whole back tattoo. Let me see if I can show it. I know I showed it in my tattoo video, but I mean, it goes onto my butt. So like, it's kind of hard to show it, but I do have like my whole back tattooed and I would like to finish it, but I'm probably not going to because it hurts so fucking bad. How has life changed for you since your big move? What do you like, dislike? Obviously, I like living with my boyfriend. I love our apartment. It is so much nicer than my last apartment. My last apartment was trashed, whatever. So I'm so happy that I'm here in a place that I can decorate the way I want. And like, it's just, I love that about living here. And what do I dislike about living here is not knowing anyone. The only people that I've like hung out with out here are my boyfriend's coworkers. And if I'm being completely honest with you guys, I don't have a single thing in common with like any of them but i realized that there's so many people here literally there's so many people that live here and everybody is just so different and i'm sure i'm gonna find people that i have stuff in common with for example my friend sarah idra hill on instagram she came down and we hung out for the first time and literally we are the same person like best friend i love her i want her to move here so badly because she lives up north and yeah that's been the hardest thing about living here is that the people that i've been like kind of around i don't have much in common with and it makes me sad but i know that i'll meet people and it's just gonna take time i've only been here for three months like i said i have no patience so like I was like, oh my God, I don't know anyone out here. I don't, it's, this sucks. But then it's like, you've been out here for three months. Like, give it time. Tell me, baby. Oh, this is my new dog, Charlie. We adopted him. He is the best. I want to introduce you to Lemon as well, who is my black cat. He's like six years old. Charlie's a year and a half. Um, And yeah, I just love them. I, I sit here all day and work from home and just hang out with my little animals until my boyfriend gets home from work. And then either we do stuff and that's my day. If you want to see me do like a little like day in the life of working from home as a 25 year old, I can for sure do that. That's the other thing that's like my goal. I want to show people that like age really means nothing because there's like a lot of times where I'm like, shit, I'm 25. Am I supposed to have everything together, have great credit, like have a house, be getting married, have kids, like all this shit? And the answer to that question is no. And again, it took me like a long time to realize that. And I feel like the past year I've just like grown and learned so much about myself and who cares? Like, who is saying that by 25 you have to have this? What, people that are fucking 60 now? Like, the times were so different back then. So, like, everybody now in their 20s is in the same boat is what I'm learning. There might be some people that are more successful, but, like, who is to say what successful is? Me, like, what I'm doing right now, I feel successful because I've made this little life for myself where I can work from home, 
and I can kind of like wear and dress and be whoever I want and that's exactly what I wanted as a kid like as a teenager so to me that's successful but to somebody else being a fucking surgeon in a house married with five kids that might be successful to them so it's like who's to say what success is I want to be that example to people that like you can be whatever age and still feel young like I swear to you guys I feel like I'm still 18 I know that I've like lived a lot of life since I'm 18 but I still feel exactly the same I'm 25 I don't have my shit together that much like it is what it is like I'm working on it everybody grows and learns at their own pace and that's something that I've learned is like my whole life I've been a slower developer than like everybody else when it comes to like maturity and just like everything and that's fine you know everybody learns at like a, at a different pace everybody grows at a different pace I ran out of memory on my camera but like I was saying it is what it is we're all just figuring it out we're figuring it out at different paces and that is fine and my instagram again is at deep fried gumball i know this video wasn't like funny when usually i'm like funny but i'm in like a serious mood today so i don't know why i'm doing this with my hands i don't know i just felt like talking and being a little bit more serious today so that's that thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video also i'm getting a haircut on saturday look how freaking long my hair is it's like it's ridiculous how long my hair is so we're getting that shit cut on saturday so don't comment anything about how dead my ends are because i know all right goodbye